Hi, this is Susie Laventero. This reading is going to be for all sign singles looking into new potentials. Okay, so let's start with Aries today. We started with Pisces last time, so let's start with Pisces. I mean, Aries today. Aries. Looking into new potentials. Okay, so let's see. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. All right, so pay attention to the details, right? Uh, any kind of paperwork and things like that. You want to get that squared away. Okay, and... So collaborations, right? Collaborations with people. I feel like that that's the message here. And through that, I feel like you can make new connections and potential for romantic connections. Okay. And so Seven of Michael is, so you want to feel protected and safe, right? In your new romantic con connection here. So uh, you can always ask, right? And that way we can receive it. Okay, so pay attention to details and any kind of paperwork I'm picking up. Okay. All right, so divine guidance. Okay, Archangel Sandalphon. Okay, I think when I did the Aries, uh, Aries reading just now, that came up before. Okay, the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or, or friends. So my suggestion is hang out with people who are uplifting, right? Who uh, <clears throat> are just easy to be around. Okay. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Okay, so yeah, there was a reading that I just did, and it was all about managing your emotional scale. Okay, so there's that. So as we uh, learn how to do that, okay, uh, then uh, coming together on a romantic level would be a lot easier. Two of Ariel. It's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once. Making work fun. All right. So this is like also collaborations, right? And learning how to, uh, I'm getting more like managing your time better. Okay. And I feel like that, and releasing your burdens came out in another reading. So, um, so as you do that, I feel like you'll be able to take on more and, and uh, do things that you feel in your heart, and then work can be more fun, right? Okay. And you can always ask for new imp inspiration uh, from the uh, spirit or your heart, right, if you don't believe in that. Okay. Four of Ariel, when you give, you also receive. Okay, so there is that nice exchange. But also, when you give, uh, the, they're suggesting don't expect a return. It all comes back somehow. It may not necessarily be from that person, right? Okay, so um, there's that. Okay, I guess that's coming up because of holiday season. Okay, so when you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Okay, so sometimes doing what we've been doing for like the past year or years is more comfortable than moving with change sometimes. So it's like uh, instead of reaching for more, just staying in your uh, comfort zone. Okay, so with that, it, it, okay, we all have to move with change, right? And if we don't, uh, then uh, tarot has shown us, right? Uh, then uh, energy can come to give us that guidance 
to uh, move along, right? Okay. All right, so uh, extremes in how you save or spend money. Okay, so it's like... Okay. So, if you want to get to the root of that, see how you were raised around money. What were the phrases used in your family dynamic? Okay. How, how do you see money? Okay. Do you see that as more important than the loving connection? Okay. Things like that. Okay, so like, for example, they're saying, okay, were you raised in a family that says something like, uh, money doesn't grow on trees? Okay, but it kind of does, right? Because money's made from trees. <laughs> okay, so, and uh, money is also made from that non-physical substance. I mean, that non-physical energy that is the substance that comes together as particles and then forms into that money, right? Okay, so it's like kind of softening those places will help you to feel better around money. So there won't be like extreme holding on, right? Or, or there, and then uh, to compensate, when you do extremes, uh, then you might go to the opposite polar end of that, which is like spending on uh, extreme on things. Okay, so it's like they're showing me one polar end to the other polar end. Okay, so humans have labeled that as bipolar. Uh, energy, energy, but um, it's just energy, right? One end to the other. So the key is finding that middle ground, the middle way, the steady uh, middle way, and it's like a loose uh, loosening up, but uh, also uh, being mindful about um, where you spend is what I'm getting. Okay, so... Um, Yeah, so look at your belief systems around money. And I feel like that. Okay, they're giving me another one. Okay, so for example, okay, so they're showing me an old lady, right? They're showing me an old lady, and this old lady believed that the only way she could get more money was through marriage. So then she married... Okay. Okay, so that was back in uh, the 40s. Okay. 40s, uh, some people from the 40s. Okay, so, or earlier perhaps. Okay, so there was like a, uh, maybe it was earlier. Okay, so maybe it was between 30s and 40s. Okay, so there was a time where that was the trend, like marrying uh, into money, right? Okay, so, and then that is still a trend in places like um, Asia or like Middle East. There has been that trend, right? Marrying for money. Okay, so. Okay, so that could be in the uh, lineage, the ancestral lineage. Okay, so. Um, so that could be a repeated pattern that happens. So uh, look out for that too, right? See how you can shift that if you if that's what you were doing. Okay. Because we're trying to reach for new. All right. There's no judgment in that, but just take a look into that and see if there's something that you would like to shift within that plan course of action that's moving into the future okay I feel like that would help 
All right, so here we go. What signs? Okay, Jupiter's in Aquarius, so it could be Aquarius energy. What else? Okay, so uh, it could be another fire sign, Leo energy. Luck is on your side here. Woo! Leo! <laughs> Aquarius and Gemini. Okay, so if we're going for um, Virgo, Gemini, that's Mercury energy. So communication is key. Gemini, okay, so I'm picking up Mercury. So communication is key here. Okay, so that's Gemini, communication. So Aquarius, fire sign, and, uh, right. So luck is on your side. Leave you with that. Okay, so Taurus. Taurus, new potentials. Ooh, how did this card get in here? What is this? Oh, the emperor. Okay, let's keep that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. These are all the new potentials. Oh my gosh, these. Okay, so these could be like in the e works in the ethers. Okay, ready to manifest now. Okay. All right, so it says Melchizedek, spiritual development study, law of attraction. So I feel like getting out there and doing something uh, that has to do with this kind of uh, spiritual uh, enlightenment. I feel like you can meet somebody. It's like a class or something like that. Okay. All right, now it could be a pilgrimage. Some kind of pilgrimage. Okay. All right, so what's this? Segment. Yeah, this is like Egyptian stuff. So, um, okay, I'm getting someone who went to... Now I'm getting Italy. Okay, someone who went to Egypt and had a group of people and... is also on a spiritual quest okay and is a spiritual being okay so i feel like this is you actually fierceness and i feel like this is <laughs> your fierceness is attracting this kind of uh she kind of reminds me of beyonce a little bit okay all right so it says rebuilding uh fierceness okay so uh it says this could be a Scorpio energy. There's a cobra up here. So fire sign. Could be Scorpio. Okay, now if Scorpio is showing up, yeah, that could be you. In that, okay, so there's two. This could be in your charts, or if you were, uh, feel like you've been through a lot emotionally you could have been uh, in a lower vibrating energy in Scorpio and that's probably why destruction showed up and that past brought you a new beginning so here's your new potential okay all right so this could be a man here all right but I feel like this is you Taurus Rebuilding. Okay, Goddess Quan Yin. Ooh, okay. So, you know what, um, Taurus, I might do a, a Goddess Quan Yin reading for you. Okay, let's go ahead and do that later on. Okay, Goddess Quan Yin. Kindness, compassion, and divine mercy. Okay, so I feel like you've elevated yourself to this point here okay all right so it's like you've elevated yourself through this 
rebuilding and I feel like this is you feeling in that loving energy again so I feel like that's you see all the roses and that loving kind compassionate energy this is the natural you okay and it says divine mercy here okay so I feel like you've moved into this phase okay and it could be through this class also okay helping you to uh, hang out around people that are uplifting okay and then uh, some of you this could be sisterhood okay I'm picking up okay so let's see ooh and that brings in that Merlin magician type person but this is a high magician okay someone who uses that fire energy for the positive service to others beautiful alchemy Ooh, with the dragon tattoo could be a water air sign okay Archangel Jamuel, unconditional love. Ooh, okay, so I feel like for some of you, the person you're going to come together with, ooh, some of you are already with the person that kind of looks like this. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. Very beautiful. Okay, so I feel like this person is very compassionate towards you. And, uh, yeah, some of you are, uh, I see that, are you with this person? Okay, so... Uh, are com is compassionate towards you and very understanding because this person's been through a lot too whoa yeah <laughs> okay so this is how this person has that infinite unconditional love for you heart healing and self-love and through this connection I feel like you're going to really get to um, dive deep into that self-love and heart healing yeah it's like feels really good st. Bridget okay so I don't know why but I feel like I'm picking up something uh, like from Ireland that area okay so st. Bridget might mean something to somebody I'm not picking up anything uh, on that one but fire passion and growth ooh okay so I'm really picking up someone uh, with an Irish background okay okay so for some of you this person already knows who you are and just hasn't voiced anything because they know what you've gone through so they're just kind of like um, just trucking along and hopefully uh, can uh, link up with you loves you okay okay I leave that with you okay Taurus okay Gemini Okay, so if you're the emperor here, remember to be flexible and open, right? In that, align that feminine energy so you can be open to receive. Okay. All right, so here we go. Gemini. Gemini singles. Okay, so, mm -hmm. okay, so some of you it might be a same-sex partner. Okay, secrets protects knowledge, protected knowledge. Okay, Raziel and mysteries. Okay, you know it's like I feel like wh whoever this person is, it's gonna be like the 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 you know how like when you have a puzzle and, and you have that one piece of puzzle that you need to finish the whole thing. And you don't know where that piece of puzzle went in your house? Okay. All right. So it's like that puzzle's showing up. Okay. So that's, uh, that's for the Gemini. So um, 
pay attention to your surroundings. So that could mean, for example, you have a collaboration where someone has one kind of knowledge. You have a, your own set of knowledge and something about those two uh, different different uh, abilities coming together uh, creates this beautiful sacred geometry. Okay, so it's something like that. Okay, it could be a fire sign, could be a Scorpio. Okay, it could be Taurus, although that's could be the cusping energy. Okay, and could be any energy is what they're showing me now <laughs> water and the earth and uh like air and uh it's all the energies okay they're showing me okay so anyone any potential okay all right cancer New potentials. Archangel Raguel. Relationship healing in calm harmony. Ooh. Okay, yin and yang. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, so uh, perfect match. Someone who is a perfect match to you. Okay, and it, it coming together would be very nurturing, compassionate person. Mary Magdalene. Okay, so someone who's in their divine feminine energy, could be a man, right? But someone who is, like I said, compassionate and kind and devoted to you. All right. And sacred sexuality. It's like not just sex, right? Whereas some of the past experiences you had, uh, there was just that, right? But this is the all, the whole shebang, the whole picture, the whole package. Okay. Wow. That's nice. Okay. So let's see what signs are right around you. Woo! What's that? Okay. Flying in the air. <laughs> just like Aquarius. Okay. Uranus energy. Okay. So that could be... Taurus or Scorpio, Aquarius, any water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Fire sign. Sagittarius. Earth sign, Taurus. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you, Cancer. I'm guys. I'm gonna start a whole new video. Thank you.